Well, the plot thickens, as they say. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm back with another video, and we have further development in the Egypt versus the Netflix documentary series on the race-swapped Cleopatra, where Egypt has now come out and stated they will make their own documentary about the titular queen, in which she will be light-skinned, so pretty much historically accurate. Go fucking figure. But at any rate, let's just dive right into this article so we can get a gauge of what Egypt is going to do and the response from the Netflix documentary series director. So let's just dive right into this. A government-owned Egyptian broadcaster has responded to controversy over the casting of a black actress to play Cleopatra in the Netflix docudrama series African Queens, which streams from May 10th, so it's already started streaming on Netflix. I do not and will not watch it, nor will I even sail the high seas. May 10th, by announcing production of its own big-budget Cleopatra doc. The fact that Britain's Adele Jones, who is of mixed heritage, why the fuck does that even matter in this case, plays the first century Egyptian ruler as a queen with African roots in the Netflix original produced by Jada Pinkett Smith, which is the first fucking red flag for this series, has been sparking an uproar in Egypt. Don't, you don't say. You don't say. And Cleopatra, while living in Africa, you know, ruling over uh, basically what becomes present-day Egypt, does not have African roots. Ever since the trailer dropped last month, local academics and others are claiming that Cleopatra, not just claiming, they're outright stating historical fucking facts, who was born in the Egyptian city of Alexandria in 69 BC and belonged to a Greek-speaking dynasty, was of European descent and not black. The Ptolemaic line, right, that, that family line, inbreeding galore, they would not, and I use this word not to... Not in all, in any way, reflect any feelings towards any other demographic would not taint their bloodline with anything outside. And not anything indigenous, anyone living in Africa, they would not do so. Right? They kept the bloodline pure. And how do they do it? Brothers, married sisters, fathers, daughters, and so forth. Inbreeding. Egypt has come out and sh sh shown historical texts. Written around that time. Reflecting such a case. In response to what they claim, is again, it's not just them claiming, right? It's scholars and historians and so forth coming out and saying, she was not black, nor was she ethnically Egyptian. She was ethnically Greek, specifically Macedonian. All right? They, they fully admitted it. They're not even, they're not coming out and saying, claiming otherwise. Is Netflix's falsification of Egypt's history, outright fucking falsification, is blatant lying. The El Wathekwa, Kia, Wathikia channel, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, channel, which is a subsidiary of Egypt's state-affiliated United Media Services, has announced start of a production on a high-end doc about the true story of Queen Cleopatra, which it claims in a statement is based on the utmost levels of research and accuracy. Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, the government entity in charge of heritage, has complained on Twitter that, quote, statues of Queen Cleopatra confirm that she had Hellenistic Greek features distinguished by a light skin, drawn-out nose, and thin lips. Popular comedian Bassam Youssef, in a recent TV interview with British journalist Piers Morgan, accused Netflix of trying to, quote, take over our Egyptian culture. And an Egyptian lawyer has filed a complaint demanding that legal measures are taken to block Netflix outright in Egypt to prevent the show from airing, though that has not happened, at least not yet. All right, now here's the fucking stupid statement from the director for this falsified docuseries, all right? Quote, why do some people need Cleopatra to be white? Because she was. She was light-skinned. The show's director, Tina Gavar Garavi, wrote in an op-ed piece defending the casting in a variety of online last month. Perhaps it's not just that I've directed a series that portrays Cleopatra as black, but that I've asked Egyptians to see themselves as Africans. Egypt is on the African fucking continent. Of course, in a way, they are Africans. But at the same time, she's distinguishing the two as if only Africans are black people. 
And they are furious at me for that. They're furious at you for bastardizing their culture and their history. That's what they're furious at you about. And you're doing so by race swapping Cleopatra and doing it just for, just purely for political agenda purposes. That's the sole reason. You wanted to make a political statement. You said so yourself. That's fucking it. That's why they're mad. They, you are bastardizing and falsifying and outright just abhorrently lying about their culture, their, their, their history. <clears throat> when you do this. That's why they're mad. So it's not just ne people needing Cleopatra to be white. That's historically accurate. She was light-skinned. So it's not a need, but a want for you to... Because you're, you're claiming this to be a documentary series, meaning non-fiction, which means it has to be historically accurate, right? You're not doing so. You're lying on multiple levels. Just to push a narrative. That's fucking it. Right? Netflix has repeatedly declined to comment. Well, they are fucking pussies. That's what they are. But at any rate, there it is. There it is. And I, for one, I'm going to kind of be on the lookout for this. I'm not sure how it's going to air. Um, if it's even going to make it outside of Egypt. But we'll see. If it does, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it and see what the Egyptians have to say about uh, their own history. Which would be very fascinating, in my opinion. But at any rate, what are your thoughts down in the comments below? Um... Have you watched this docuseries? Have you not watched the docuseries? If you have, what did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you basically indifferent to it? Let me know all the fun stuff down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of like Netflix's decline to comment, the statements made by the director, the um, what Egypt is doing on their end, all that good stuff. Uh, I will be live about just under a couple hours or so. Uh, before this video even drops, pretty much, on my Twitch for an afternoon stream, since I will not be able to stream this evening, I'll be playing some Ape, uh, Apex uh, multiplayer modes, uh, team deathmatch, gunplay, control, just to chill for a couple hours on my Twitch, Jade underscore Fire. So if you miss that, you can always catch the replay. And then tomorrow, I'll be live on my live channel, Jade Shadow Live, uh, going over some various topics for about an hour early in the early afternoon. And then I will go on my kick... A little bit after that, to stream some more Halo 3 ODST. So my kick is Jade Shadow. Come follow me over there. I'm slowly building it up as a counter to what Twitch is doing. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Share on social media if you will. This is Mara Jade. Catch you on the dark side. And... I'm pretty much giggling like Ron Swanson right now. You have no idea. <laughs>